When Jesus was arrested and crucified, John, indeed loved Jesus. No wonder he was there at the cross. And I'm sure Jesus loved him very much too. So much so that he even entrusted his mother to him. I wonder what gave John the courage to stand there and witness the crucifixion of Jesus. His love for Jesus, of course. Love indeed conquers everything, even fear. You can imagine what he must have felt as he stood there and saw his beloved master and friend dying on the cross. While John stood there, he saw that a man came limping towards the cross. Jesus, my Savior, am I too late to receive your healing? Have mercy on me, my Lord. Huh? Isn't he? Isn't he, Josiah? Let us play hide and seek today. Good idea. Friends, I want to play too. Please let me play. Who? Oh, don't mind him. Who will be the seeker first? You, Ezra. No, let John be the seeker. John, please let me play too. I don't know if they'll let you play, Josiah. But I know that I'm going to play with you. Thanks, John. You're indeed a great person. Am I? Hey, John, aren't you playing with us? I will join you only if you let Josiah join. He's too mean to play with us. <laughs> that was very mean. You need to be taught a lesson. Leave him alone, John. Remember what you told me about waiting for the Messiah? Yes, Josiah, I'm waiting for the Messiah. But will he come during our times? I believe in my heart that he will. I hope he does. I'm sure he will come. I'm preparing for him by getting rid of my quick temper. I want to be a person full of love because I believe God is love. That's wonderful, John. You're indeed a kind person. Thank you, Josiah. Yes. I want to be pure when the Messiah arrives. Come, let's go and read about the Messiah. I want to be a different person, Josiah. You're already a good person, John. No, Josiah. I want to be pure in all that I do. I want to hear his words with my ears, see his wonders with my eyes, taste the sweetness of his mercy, and smell the fragrance of his love. Wow, John, wow! You're so poetic. I believe that one day you'll write something so great that will inspire people to love others. I can do that only if I meet a person who will be a living embodiment of love. May our Heavenly Father grant you that wish, my dear friend. Josea, I believe that one day you'll be dancing and leaping and praising God too. I believe that too, John. Thank you so much. Josiah, I believe that you will be healed. Huh? It's a miracle. My leg. I can walk now. You're always on time, Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. Huh? John? My dear friend, it's you. Yes, it's me, my friend. Look at me, John. Your words were true. I'm healed. Healed by the Messiah you were waiting for. Yes, my friend. But what took you so long? That is a long story. But now I wait for my prophecy to come true. I await the day when you will write the story of the Messiah. A gospel of love. John indeed 
loved Jesus very much. Yes. Perhaps he was the one who really understood the message of Jesus. As he stood at the cross and mourned for him, he believed that Jesus would rise from the dead and come back again. In fact, after the resurrection, John and Peter were the first of the disciples to run towards Jesus' grave. But it was John who knew without seeing that Jesus had truly risen. After Jesus' ascension and the descent of the Holy Spirit, John, together with Peter, played an important part in the founding of the church. He was also present when Peter healed the lame man at the temple. John was also punished along with Peter, and he was also thrown into prison. He was with Peter visiting the newly converted in Samaria. Uncle Francis, did John continue to stay on in Jerusalem? It is not known for sure how long John and Mary stayed in Jerusalem after Jesus died. However, it is believed that John started six out of the seven churches in Asia Minor, namely Smyrna, Pergamos, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea, and Thyatira. They were fairly close to Ephesus, the place where in all likelihood John lived with Mary, the mother of Jesus, for a very long time. He taught the gospel of love wherever he went. During the reign of the Emperor Domitian, John was caught and he was thrown into a cauldron of boiling oil. A miracle had happened there and John escaped without any injury. The frustrated emperor then banished him to the island of Patmos. On the Patmos island, he lived in a cave, cut off from those he loved. It was here that he got inspired to write the book of Revelation. Wow, so it is St. John who wrote the book of Revelation? I didn't know that. Please, can I borrow your Bible, Uncle Francis? Of course you can. Here you go. Hmm, but it's so difficult to understand the book of Revelation. You are right. I only understood this line. I, John your brother, am the one who shares with you in the persecution, kingdom and endurance that are in Jesus was on the island called Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony about Jesus. Uncle, isn't Saint John referring to himself? Yes, Joan. And here he has a beautiful message for us. He wants us to think beyond our pains and sorrows. He wants us to wait for the heavens by trusting in God. Wow, that is easy to understand. Hmm, but difficult to practice. Uncle, did John go to heaven? Yes, my dear. Remember, Jesus himself had told in his Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. When John became very old, he had to be carried to the church in the arms of his disciples. At these meetings, he used to say, Little children love one another. But Master, why do you always say only these words and nothing more? It is the Lord's command, my child. And if you do this one thing, that's more than enough. Wow! How did St. John die? St. John outlived his fellow apostles and was the only one of the twelve who didn't meet with a violent death. He died at Ephesus at a ripe old age. His feast day is December 27th, and he is symbolized by an eagle. Wow! If we are to be effective witnesses for Christ, like John, our behavior should reflect a passion for the truth, compassion for people, and a dedicated desire to serve our Lord by being models of His humility and grace. That was great, Uncle! Thank you, children! Well, it's time for me to leave. I'll see you again tomorrow, then. Goodbye, children! Goodbye, Uncle! <laughs>